Hello, my kindergarten friends. In this video, you are doing the test for chapter five. Oh my goodness. Can you remember back when you were at school? We hadn't done any of this book yet. So you have done in this book now, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and chapter five. We've done so much. We're also gonna do chapter six. You guys are gonna be so far into this. Chapter six starts with subtraction. So the next video, We'll have the beginning of chapter six with subtraction. Today, we're gonna to do the test for chapter five and wrap up what we've been learning about number pairs with addition. Here we are, oh my goodness, so much of this is gonna be so simple here. Chapter five, review, test. Look at those cubes adding things together. You've done this so much in the classroom. You can just trace this. Three plus two is the same as five. Doesn't that just seem so easy right now? Let's take a look here. What do we see in this 10 frame? How many are up here? Write that number right here. You probably don't even have to count them because you know a full row, right? How many yellow ones here? Then how many counters is that all together? Go ahead and write that number right there. Pause the video if you need to to catch up. Otherwise, turn the page. <gasps> right here we have some red ones and some yellow ones. Which of these shows what's up here? Well, you know a full row is five, right? So it can't be that one. It could be this one, it could be this one. Can't be this one. Because we have this full row of five red ones plus some yellow ones. Which one of these shows that? Here's another one, easy. Which one of these number sentences shows that? Color in the circle. Three plus, grab your yellow crayon because we've been doing that, right? Let's go ahead and actually color these in. One two, three, you're coloring with me, right? Not just listening and watching. Four, five, six. Ah, oh, go ahead and we're not writing that number right here. In fact, you don't even have to trace these things. All you have to do when we have these problems with the little circles down here, all you have to do is color in the circle that's the answer. All right, next page, we've done stuff like this, right? Here's one. Two, two more came, right? And then there's three all together. So which circle do you color in? Here we started out with some. It doesn't tell us how many. It does tell us one, two, three, four, five more came. And then at the end, there were eight all together. How many were there to start out with? Go ahead and color in the circle that says how many. Down here, take a look at these cubes. Count them if you need to. Obviously, altogether there are eight. It's really quick to see how many blue ones are here at the beginning. You can count these red ones if you need to. Which number sentence could go with that train of cubes? Go ahead and color in the circle. Last page already. Here, you're not coloring in circles, you're actually writing, so we will go ahead to trace these things. Three plus, here's the three that start out. Some more come, how many more come? Write that number right there is the same as five. Down here, you're gonna choose. So these four cubes kind of colored in here, they're just there to kind of let you experiment with your cubes. So you can use cubes or you can use counters like we've done for the last few days. And just make a couple of number pairs. Here's one number pair that makes four. Here's another number pair that makes four. There's another one, there's another one, and there's another one. Write two of those sets of number pairs here. And then boys and girls, you are all done with chapter six. Nice work. What six is it? You just finished chapter five. The next video will start chapter six.